in a split where nothing has really gone the way people expected it to, why would playoffs go as expected? Coming into the 2020 season, everyone still thought Team Liquid would be the best team. And they are the best team North America has ever produced. But they're kind of stuck and everyone's waiting for them to be good. Meanwhile, Cloud9 is absolutely dominating. How powerful the ability is. Oh. Tied for the best regular split record in LCS history. There was this revolving door of teams. Any of these five teams can make a move for second. And then there's a global health pandemic and everything shuts down. No one really knows what's going to happen to the LCS. No one really knows what's going to happen. Two weeks after that, the LCS can return online. Teams playing online, casters casting from their homes online, and again, no one really knows how it's gonna feel, but you do know it's gonna be LCS. As we roll into week nine, all the stories were there. Cloud9 had the opportunity to end Team Liquid's streak. Vulcan and Spin are going for a back door. By denying them playoffs. Revenge is coming now, and Cloud9 will shut down Team Liquid. Golden Guardians, people had them as the worst team in the league, and now they're going to playoffs after winning three games in a row. What? That is a solo kill right there. TSM beats C9. Everyone's wondering if they're going to emerge as the true contender. Yerkson assassinates the back one. We end up getting a three-way tie for second between FlyQuest, Nine, Charm and Code the Sun, Power of Evil, Hundred Thieves, Sunstay picks up the Quadra, and EG actually ends as the second-place team. Jizuke's got a triple. Make it even more. Cloud9 is an absolute behemoth. Oh, and for the first time in a long time, they go in as prohibitive favorites. But if LCS has taught us anything, and if this split has taught us anything, it's that you never really know what's gonna happen next.